Hello everyone, my name is Brendan Snyder. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another episode of New Music Finds, number 47. So this is where I like to collect together all the different music that I've purchased over the past week and present it to you. And I get it from different places like my local record stores, but also online retail and more. For this particular episode, I got seven CDs to uh, run through with you. But before we get into that, if you're new to my channel and haven't already hit the subscribe button, please click the button. Also leave a comment, hit like, all those things help support my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And of course, as an added bonus by subscribing, you'll be able to stay up to date on all that's going on in the world of music, just like this with New Music Finds, episode number 47. So for this one, I'm doing something a little different here. Uh, you've seen in the past uh, week, I've done a couple unboxing videos right as they've come in, what I've been calling the New Music Now series. Right as it's delivered, I open it up with you and I let you guys take a look at it. But I thought for this particular episode, I would actually do that for everything as it's arrived. So I've got a bunch more of those that I've done. Let's take a look at those, then stick around to the end of this video where I'm gonna do an individual run through of each one of these and uh, give you a little bit more of my take on it. All right, so first up today is January 4th of the new year. Got some new music here, just came in the mail. Two packages today we're gonna start with here. And the first one up is from Amazon Japan. So this one here was the last new release of the year. It goes to Loudness, great Japanese metal band. And uh, finally got it in the mail. It was actually due a couple days ago and it was delayed. So we're gonna dig into this thing right now and uh, let's take a look at it. All right, so this thing here is a double album and it's to celebrate their 40th anniversary. So it's called Sunburst My Warrior. There's eight tracks on each disc that's here. You can see the, the track listing back there. It's one of those thicker than average jewel cases. And I was a little concerned and I kind of meant to point this out at the beginning, but this is a pretty flimsy envelope to come all the way from Japan. Now, it was sent by DHL, which does a lot better in terms of their protection of stuff and the way things are shipped. But uh, just quick glance over this, I'm not seeing a single crack. So I'm kind of surprised I thought when this came that it was going to be busted, but it's not. So I'm really excited about that. And I can't wait to dive into this nice thick booklet I can see within this thing. And just really happy to be able to check this out. Last brand new release of 2021, December 31st. Finally got my hands on it, so I'm excited about that. Now, I got something else in the mail. And this one here, I don't know what it is. So uh, we're gonna see what this is here and cut into it, or tear into it, I should say. And this one here, Okay, cool, this one is David Crosby. So last uh, couple weeks I've been into some folk rock and Crosby, Stills and Nash and stuff like that. And this is a solo album that's been reissued on the music on CD label, which I really like. And so this one here is a 1989 solo album that he did at the time that again, has some different flair to it than the other stuff that he is known for that very uh, acoustic folk rock stuff. This here has got more rock flair to it. So I checked it out, was very interested in it, and I thought I'd like to give it a shot to see what it's like. And uh, 11 tracks on this thing, 2015 reissue music on CD. So super excited about that. Uh, whether you're a fan of uh, The Birds, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, his solo work, Always good to see some good stuff from him. So there you go. In this particular uh, unboxing, we got two things. We got everything from Loudness, great Japanese metal band, to some folk rock hero, uh, David Crosby here. And uh, so that's the uh, first episode of the first thing here, and we'll uh, slide right into the next one. So recently I've talked a lot about my uh, negative feelings towards Amazon, but one of the things that is a plus with Amazon is they deliver on Sunday. So today is uh, Sunday, January 9th, and I still managed to get something in the mail. So I'm very excited about that. And uh, let's tear into it and see what we got here. All right, cool, man. And so it's a Mahogany Rush, fourth album, 1976 release. Um, I'd been getting into them. If you watched my uh, Monday episode of What's That You're Listening To, then you know that uh, I was listening to some Mahogany Rush uh, in there. In fact, um, 
World Anthem, the 1977 album, was one of the ones I showed, and the 79 uh, Tales of the Unexpected. Now, I've also got four albums from uh, Rock Candy reissues here, including the 78 Live album, which I know a lot of you guys like. But um, who's next? Or what's next? Um, this one here, which is uh, The Power of Rock and Roll. My favorite though being Juggernaut. All of these having a little bit different flavor to them. So I'm looking forward to diving into this one here for, which is uh, 1976, as the title states, fourth studio album, nine tracks on here. Uh, reissued in 2006 and it's on the repertoire label. So I'm sort of excited about that. Uh, it is a, uh, Digipack, uh, you know how we all feel about that, but this one here came in great shape. So, you know, I find that uh, the individual package of just one disc comes a lot better than when they do multiples. Uh, but then again, that's just going back to my love-hate relationship with Amazon. Either way, super excited for this and looking forward to checking it out. On to the next one. All right, so today is January 10th, 2021. More new arrivals in the mail. We've got one here. It even says on the outside eBay. So I know what this one is here. I actually kind of like it when they do it up with that. The little extra uh, stuff on it let, lets you know exactly what it is that you're getting. But before we jump right into this, I just wanted to point out and say today is the anniversary of the passing of David Bowie. He died on January 10th, six years ago. And certainly uh, do yourself a favor and check out some Bowie. Honor his memories today in the beautiful catalog that he left us. But on to the new release because we all love our new music and that's what we're here to celebrate. So I've got this here. Let's go ahead and uh, tear into it. Actually, this is uh, easier to get into than I kind of thought it would be with all the tape and stuff. Maybe I spoke too soon. Okay, there we go. All right, uh, and some nice packaging around it. And if I can get it out, there we go. So beautiful McGuinn Hillman two guys from the birds uh, this album's really hard to come by one-way records if you remember a couple weeks back um, I was showing you my um, McGuinn Clark Hillman which are three of the birds that got back together and this one here a music on CD reissue eventually um, Gene Clark dropped out of it and was not part of it so it just became McGuinn Hillman and so that's what this release is here 1980 is the release of it Looks in really good condition. I tried checking it out as best I could before getting it. I don't see any scratches, so I'm very happy with that. Looking forward to diving into it. 10 tracks on here. Um, but yeah, so there you go. That's the one that I'm picking up. I can't wait to dive into it. Just got home from work, so got some extra new music. Stick around, because I'm going to gather all this stuff up now from the past week that you just saw all the unboxings, and I'm going to do a quick little review of each one now after having lived with it for a little bit, so you'll see that. All right, take care everyone. All right, so we're back here. Hopefully you enjoyed that little bit of difference there for this episode of New Music Finds, trying something a little special here. But beyond what you just saw in those three videos, I do have some other stuff. Now these were shown in New Music Now videos, unboxings as they happened right away. So you have seen these if you watch all my videos, but if you don't watch all of them, maybe this is uh, gonna be new for you. So I hit up uh, the Bowie 75 store because it was, uh, Bowie's birthday, also the anniversary of his passing, and of course, uh, the new album Toy that came out, and this one here being a box set version of it. It came out as part of uh, Beautiful Adventure, but uh, this one here is a three CD set. Now, a lot of people have commented about the album cover. I agree, this thing is uh, pretty hideous, kind of creepy. It's intended to be David Bowie as a baby, but with an adult face, just showing that uh, he's taken these old songs and he's made them uh, new and modern with all of that experience that he has as an adult. At least that's my interpretation of it. But I think the album would uh, go a lot further if it had a different album cover on it. Now the music part of this, I have to say when I put it on, I was both uh, pleasantly surprised because it was better than anticipated, but um, maybe initially a little disappointed because it wasn't quite what I had hoped for. That aside, after a couple listens of this, I have truly enjoyed this. I really love it. I can't get enough of it now. So I really warmed up to this after I 
um, just gave it a chance. You know, instead of looking at it as a bunch of old songs, I just looked at it as good David Bowie music and listened to it for that purpose. I found that I really enjoyed it. So I have to say, I, I highly recommend this for David Bowie fans out there. Um, I like the original mix of the album best as opposed to the alternate mix that is in here. But the acoustic and slightly electric version of the album is also really interesting. And that in and of itself is worth it for this box. So as I mentioned, I went to the store as well and I picked up two releases there. Now, both of these are record store day releases. Interesting that they're on CD. I didn't even know that at the time that they had uh, or that he had released uh, CD versions of these. I would have picked them up right away at that time. But I actually found this out uh, the night before going to the store. So I had these in my mind, but I totally did not expect to find them at the store. They're out of print. They're hard to come by. This one here changes now, Bowie, is going for $85 off of Amazon. So I was glad to find it for a reasonable $16 in the store. But uh, nine tracks were recorded in 1996 and then broadcast in uh, 1997 on his birthday, 50th uh, birthday. So kind of cool to be picking this up and listening to a 50th anniversary celebration on his 75th uh, birthday. Highly recommend this one too, acoustic interpretations of songs uh, from his past there. Um, and then this one here, uh, which is uh, I'm Only Dancing, the Soul Tour 74. And some of you guys commented about, uh, you, you thought that uh, Bowie's vocals sounded a bit rough and uh, worn, you know, having come at the end of the tour when this was recorded. That may all be true, didn't bother me any. Um, I really liked it because the music on here, the interpretation of these songs was so different than what I expected. It really uh, fits the title of uh, the album or the tour itself called the Soul Tour. So if you're looking for some different interpretations, some soulful interpretations, uh, this album here from 74 Live Album, really good. Excited about that too. All right, moving on. So a release I was actually expecting for the last episode that didn't come in time, I mentioned it at the beginning, finally did arrive, Loudness, uh, Sunburst My Warrior. It is a double album and uh, did get it now. Very expensive because shipping is so bad these days. Even though, yes, it is a double album, it ended up costing me about 60 bucks. And I didn't mind, I went ahead and did it. I'm a big fan of Loudness, but I have to say I was a bit disappointed with the album once I put it on. Despite the uh, track listing, and then a bunch of these are written in English on the back, actually only two tracks from the whole double album are in English. So I was kind of bummed about that. In all, I don't really mind it. I mean, I've got other albums where, you know, they sing in Japanese on, on a number of the tracks and so forth but usually it's pretty well split this time here it's the other way around probably because it's celebrating their 40th anniversary they obviously are a japanese band they're doing it for their fans there and so forth uh the u.s market's kind of secondary to that so i get it but you know if i'd done my research up front i would have known better and hopefully this information lets you know whether you want to pursue this or not that aside, the booklet inside there has all of those Japanese lyrics in English. This is the first time I've seen that. I mean, I'm sure other bands have done it, but I hadn't seen that before. So I have to say thank you to that. So at least I can follow along with what it is that I'm hearing. All right, next one, uh, Mahogany Rush 4. So uh, pick this one up. One of the ones you guys saw me do the, uh, the unboxing just now. Really enjoyed this though. This one here is a much more blues rock affair. It's 1976. It's early on. Obviously, it's the fourth album and so forth. I've got his later ones from the late 70s, early 80s. That's what I've always known him from, but this one here just fit the right mood of a more 70s era feel and sound to it. So that one was good. Enjoyed that. Picked up uh, McGuinn Hillman, just got this when you saw that unboxing in there too. And uh, this one here kind of surprised me. It's um, still got the birds feel to it. It's 1980 release, but it's a little more modernized and um, it's got a, a different kind of production on it. And I sort of enjoyed that. So uh, if you're looking for straight up birds, that's not it. But if you're looking for something that still has the vocals and the feel of that, but is a modern take, that's a good album for it. 
And then this one here, uh, David Crosby, Oh Yes I Can. Um, again, you saw an unboxing for this one here. And uh, this one here, while I picked it up for a particular track, Drive My Car, and I kind of had hoped the rest of the album would be that sort of modern take of a little bit more rock, uh, it kind of falls back into that more uh, soft rock feel throughout. So it didn't quite hold up to what I was expecting on it. It's a good album, don't get me wrong. I just have different moods for different times and so forth. So that album will pull out at another time when I'm looking for something in a little bit more of the, uh, the soft rock vein and so forth. But there you go. Uh, seven CDs for you guys as part of New Music Finds episode number 47. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, little different format that I'm doing here. Uh, let me know your thoughts if you're interested in this continuing or not. Um, but I uh, just thought I'd give it a go here and... Uh, try something else. So um, certainly uh, do check the description for links to related videos and um, I'll leave some of the links to the other uh, new music nows that were part of this in case you didn't get to catch them. And uh, I'll leave a link for that uh, Bowie 75 store experience in there as well. All right, everyone, have a great day. Take care and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.